On Christmas Day, we renewed our appeal to the High Commissioner <coughs> for the martyred Christian, Christian minorities of Iraq. The grave human tragedy of Middle East Christians is worsening weekly. Since 1986, we have reminded delegates of a well-known Middle East saying, after Saturday comes Sunday, after the Dimi Jews have been expelled from Arab lands, it will be the time of the Dimi Christians. The hazardous position of Muslim minorities in most Muslim-majority countries should also be condemned. In a 1998 written statement to the subcommission, we detailed the tragedy of John Joseph, Bishop of Faisalabad, who killed himself to protest Pakistan's blasphemy laws against non-Muslims. His suicide was related to the blasphemy case of Ayub Masi. A few hours before his tragic death, Bishop Joseph publicly declared that all the charges were false and were concocted to force 15 Christian families to drop a local land dispute with Muslim villagers. He urged religious leaders and all segments of society in Pakistan to support the campaign for the repeal of the iniquitous blasphemy laws. Nothing has happened since then. A year earlier, at the 1997 Commission, the Organization of the Islamic Conference described as blasphemy a true passage on Arab-Muslim anti-Semitism quoted in the SR's report on racism. Two months ago, Punjab's governor, Salman Tasir, who opposed the blasphemy laws, was shot by his own bodyguard. And only 10 days ago, Pakistan's Christian minority minister, Shabazz Bhatti, was slaughtered by the Punjabi Taliban. His assassin left leaflets promising to kill those who followed in his path. Quote, with the blessing of Allah, the Mujahideen will send each of you to hell. Sir, it is time for this council to recognize the growing danger worldwide from jihadist killers who consider all non-Muslim minorities as inferiors, refusing equal and universal human rights to infidels and dhimmis. Let Pakistan explain what it plans to do to end its egregious blasphemy laws targeting Christian and other minorities which clash with the international covenants. Thank you, Mr. President.